Armaments have been in Rise of Kingdoms for a little over a month now, but just how do armaments like this that give a lot of stats compare to arguments like this that give some all damage? Well, in this video, I'm going to bust out the battle calculator to give you the answers, so stick around. What's up everybody, Psycho here with the Rise of Kingdoms video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about armaments. As I said in the intro, I'm gonna be talking about the comparison between these two kinds of arguments or this comparison between all damage and basic stats and credit where credit's due. I was having a conversation with Chisgle about this. I think this came up in one of his live streams and he and I chatted a little bit about it on the side. And I finally was able to break out my battle calculator to take a look and, and compare how much is all damage worth compared to some stats. Now, uh, why is this a question? Why is this question only coming up now? Well, the reality is that in Rise of Kingdoms to date until the armament system came out, this was never really a question. There was never a, an opportunity to go for all damage or stats or, or a trade off between the two you either were getting all damage from certain places or you were getting stats for certain places and armaments is really the only place where we might have to make these kinds of trade-offs so here you can see a, sort of maybe one of the kind of classic trade-offs we might be looking at i have this armament over here which gives uh five and a half percent of total stats between attack defense and health to this one which only gives one percent of cavalry stats but it also gives 1.2 percent all damage so how does this compare to that armament or which armament is is most valuable which armament is best for my commander. Now, I'll point out something here. Of course, I can add inscriptions to both of these. Neither of these have inscriptions. We can also get into questions like this when we get into armaments like this that have inscriptions as well. Uh, so like this one here has inscriptions, which gives 2.5% defense. So this one here actually gives 3.5% cav defense. This is mostly a garbage argument. Look at this gold gathering barbage. Okay, that's no good, but 3.5% defense uh, compared to say 1% defense and 1% 1.2% all damage. Which of these is really the better armament? So uh, to, to answer this question, I, I dug out my ba battle calculator and, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did so that uh, we can give you the best advice for, for, for you and your specific marches. So I'm going to jump over. To okay, the jumping over here to the battle calculator, we see uh, a couple of things. And, and if you haven't seen these videos or videos where I've talked about the battle calculator before, I'll, I'll put a card at the top for a previous video where I've talked about this battle calculator. But this is really the kind of thing you need if you want to understand how does one march compare to another march or, or what does changing one piece of equipment or what is changing one stat do to a particular march and so in this particular case, you can see that there's all kinds of things we can put into this calculator. And I'm gonna start here at the top. You can see that we have a march of Boudica YSG. This is the equipment. I have all of the equipment set up here, right? You can pick any piece of equipment you want. And then I select that piece of equipment. I can put it with a special talent. I can get it iconics. In this case, we're going with gear that is fully special talented, fully iconic. And that's what I'm gonna do for all of this comparison. I'm really just gonna be looking at end game marches. I'm gonna look at three marches, one for each of the main troop types, cavalry, infantry, and archers. So starting here with the archers, March, we were in this case, I'm going to assume a civilization. I'm going to assume that I'm the civilization that I play, which is Ottoman. I'm also going to assume VIP 18. You may not be VIP 18. You have to change these things. It will change the stats. I'm also assuming the city skin that I have, which is the dynastic conqueror, which is a legendary city skin, which gives 8% defense for all troop types and minus 10% attack for cavalry. Uh, I'm assuming a couple of other things here that, that could be changed, could vary, that are much more dynamic in the game. I'm assuming, for example, that we have a 10% token, 10% defense token in this particular case although uh, many times I run with a 10% attack token myself. I'm also assuming we have a 7-7 seven and seven rune picked up. Again, I'm assuming a very, very in-game Season of Conquest KVK. You'll notice here I have 42% uh, sock tech and in terms of attack I also have an extra 10% of all damage over here added for season of conquest tech so we're assuming max season of conquest technology we're a seven seven room we, we've got a token we've got a city skin pretty much everything going we have talents on our commanders and again we're using Boudicca with YSG we have in-game gear here we've got Ring of Doom, Horn of Fury, all the special talents and, and iconics. And I realize that not everybody, hardly, actually very few people are going to have sets like this. But I want to give us a real perspective um, and sort of an end game. Like how much is it really valuable to have a one stat versus another? So what happens with this calculator here uh, is you can see the key number that we're going to look at is this total effectiveness to baseline. I've talked about baseline in other videos. In this case, the baseline is an epic commander march with epic equipment, all special talented. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the baseline is. What matters is this number here compared to the number we're going to get 
it when we change some stats. So what we're going to do is take note of this number. And again, because we have the special unit, the Ottoman special unit uh, going here for us, uh, you can see the Ottoman T5 Archer. Uh, that, that actually ha makes a difference here. I, don't know, I can just show you really quickly what, what a difference that actually makes. If I can get up here to base T5 Archer. So if we weren't using the Ottoman civilization, if we had base T5 Archers, you can see that we actually drop off quite a bit in terms of our total effectiveness of the, of the march relative to, to a baseline march. So, uh, so the special units in this case are, are worth quite a bit. So look, uh, we put down this number, and that's the number that I've got right here in cell J35, which is 183.93. And I realize this is not huge. I can try to zoom in just ever so slightly. Uh, I also want to give you the sort of the full picture of what's going on here as well, so you can see what I'm doing. So this is the number that we get for Boudicca with YSG. Again, we have the six-piece Dragon's Breath set. That's our base stats. Now, what happens if I add 1% all damage? And that's actually this column right here. I can just add 1% as just let's imagine we have some tech bonus. Again, in this case, it's armaments, adding 1% all damage. If I put that 1% all damage, we see that our number down here, our total effectiveness has changed to 185.53. That's the number that I have right here. Now, if I take that number and say, okay, so let's, let's so that's, that's the value, right? That's going from our baseline to our all damage. And I've actually done the difference right here. These are the deltas, that's the difference. So we're getting a 1.6% increase uh, in our March's effectiveness relative to the baseline if we add 1% damage to our March. Now, if I get rid of that 1% there, and instead I say I put it in, in health, right? Well, let's put 1% in health instead. And I'm going to put that right here. Let's imagine that we have an armament that's giving us 1% health, and that gives us 184.74. That's the number that I have right here. And again, we look at the delta. That is a 0.81 increase over this baseline number, right? And so we could do the same just to show you that I did all the work here and I'm not making up the numbers. Uh, we get a 1% defense increase. That's 184.45. That's this number right here. And then finally, if I want a 1% attack increase, I can just imagine that we've got 1% here. It doesn't really matter where I put it in. 180. 4.51. Okay, so that's and, and so those are those are those uh, the, the numbers there. And then again, the deltas. How much did it actually improve the march? Interestingly, you might notice there that that attack, that one percent attack, actually improved this march more than the one percent defense, which I think is something um, sort of worth noting on your Boudicca YSG march. Why is the reason for that? Well, because actually this march has a ton of defense. You can actually see the total stats right here on this march. Six hundred and seventy-six um, uh, is the total defense for this march, and the health is actually quite low 448 and so because there's such a big difference in that defense and health you get a lot of benefit on this march from health uh, you don't get as much benefit from defense and you in fact actually would get more benefit from attack on this march than you would from defense which is something i've talked about in other videos and nobody really believed me but anyway here here's more evidence uh, that sometimes attack uh, is an undervalued stat okay so point here is that these are the deltas this is how much uh, a change that, that we can see if we add damage this is how much change we can see if we add uh, health uh, this is how much change we can see if we add defense is how much we can add attack. And then finally, what you want to do, and again, this is just for Boudicca YSG. I've done the same thing for Guan and CPO. I've done the same thing for Nevsky Jones, just to prove to you what I've done here. Let's let's just do it really quickly. And I'll speed up this part so uh, so, the, so so that it'll save you a little bit of time. So here we've got Guan with CPO. So this is what would happen if we did uh, Guan with Scipio with a two KVK pieces. Again, both iconic, both special talented. Again, not very many people are going to have this, but it doesn't really matter. This just gives us a point of comparison. We also have a two piece uh, bonus from the uh, Van Braces of the Eternal Empire, the Sturdy Boots of the Eternal Empire, giving us a base of 144.59, which is exactly the number that the calculator generates here. And if I add 1% damage... Just to show you that this all works out, 146.14. Okay, I'm not going to go through all of these. You're just going to have to take my word for it that I also did this for Nevsky and Joan, and I did this for Guan and Scipio. I just did it for those three marches. Again, these are very premier in-game marches, Nevsky, Joan, Guan, Scipio, Boudicca, YSG. That's the base. That's what happens if you get 1% damage increase. 1% uh, health, 1% defense, 1% attack. And then finally, these are these are those deltas. And then the last number, the numbers that I think we really care most about for this question of what's more valuable or how much more valuable? We know damage, all damage is more valuable than a stat because uh, the way all damage, the, the way the battle formula works, all damage is calculated at the end. So we know that all damage is worth more, but the question is how much more is all damage worth? What stat trade-off would you give for that all damage? 
And the answers are right here. So for uh, Nevsky with Joan, uh, we see that we need 1.79% health to match 1% all damage. We need 1.89% health on Guan Sepio to match 1% all damage. We need 1.975 or 1.98% health on Boudicca YSG to match 1% all damage. And if we look at defense, we see even different numbers here. We see 1.85. So for Nevsky Joan, you actually um, only need 1.85% defense, which is really close to the health to, to match 1% all damage, right? So 1% all damage is worth 1.85% defense on Nevsky Joan, but you need a whopping 3.04% or 3.08% on Guan CPO and Boudicca YSG. Why is that? Because uh, because their health is their health and defense are so out of a line on those marches. They have so much more defense than health. Uh, whereas actually the Nevsky Joan, actually that march has a lot of health. And so that's why it actually uh, benefits more from defense. It gets more uh, um, value out of defense. So uh, 1.85 defense is worth 1% all damage on that march. And when we look at attack, we see that uh, the uh, Guan CPO march actually gets the most, uh, you have to add the most attack to that to, to, to equal all damage. You need 3.04% attack for 1% all damage. That is a lot of attack you would need uh, to make that work. And I can just prove to you that this all works, right? So uh, let's, we're looking at our baseline here for Guan Cipio, 144.59. What I should be able to do is put 3.04 in somewhere into an attack. So let's just put 3.04 in here. 3.0, actually I'll do 3.9 to make it even more precise. And we see 146.14, and that is exactly what matches 1% all damage right there. So we see that that's how much attack we need to be the equivalent of 1% all damage. There's sort of some rough rules that people have been using out there, and I've been using these rough rules too, which is about two. Uh, you need about 2% of a stat to be equivalent to 1% of all damage, right? So if you double this, uh, one way of thinking about it is you can just double the all damage number and say, okay, the all damage is worth 2% of whatever stat. The problem with that is that it's really just sort of a rough and general rule. As you can see here, it really matters what march you're using and it matters which stat we're talking about so in some cases you actually need over three percent of the stat you need three percent of the defense or you need three percent of the attack in some cases on some marches and on other ones you need even less than two percent 1.7 percent uh will, will get the job done so uh, it really depends on the specific march. As a general rule of thumb, I think 2% isn't a bad rule. I'm going to jump back over now to, to, uh, to the main game to show you what I'm talking about. So if we were talking about a 2% rule here, uh, we would just double the all damage here, right? So we would double this and make this 2.4% plus 1%, which is 3.4%. Cavalry defense, 1%. 2.5 so that's 3.5 and this is 3.4 so if we use that rule of doubling the all damage we would conclude that this one over here the one with the inscription is better because it gives three and a half percent total versus in this case 3.4 percent total but as we just saw on the calculator that's not going to be the case uh, at least i'm pretty sure i didn't do um i didn't actually do xy william which is the march i would have here i'm pretty sure that's not going to be the case i'm pretty sure we're going to need more defense for that particular march uh than this because uh, the, the defense on this march just isn't going to be worth as much. So uh, it really does depend on the march, but I think as a general rule of thumb, you can sort of double the, the all damage and call that some kind of stat. If you learned something and you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for coming by, everybody, and I will see you in the next one.